Imagine that our compasses point south someday. This is not science fiction. It actually happened on Earth some 780,000 years ago, with a total reversal of the magnetic poles. Could we now be facing the same cataclysmic process again? No one knows. But we are witnessing Earth's magnetic field decaying by 10% or more in 150 years. And this process seems to have accelerated recently. There is an observation that by 15 meters per day, the North Pole is moving towards Siberia. This makes 50 kilometers per year. And I think this is quite a significant number, and, and it underlines that um, there's really something happening with this Earth's magnetic field, which needs to be observed. Most of our magnetic field is probably produced by a self-sustaining dynamo, operating in the fluid deep inside the Earth. In the outer core of our planet, this mechanical energy gets converted into electromagnetism, known as the geodynamo. In a car's generator, the same principle turns mechanical energy into electricity. As part of ESA's Living Planet program, for the first time, three identical satellites, called Swarm because of the trio, will monitor the complex magnetic field of our planet with the most precise measurements ever from 2012 for at least five years. The satellites were gathered together for the first time in the Astrium plant in Friedrichshafen, Germany. When you look around here in our highway, uh, you see three satellites for swarms. The one is basically finished to go to in, uh, system level testing. Number two, you see here electrical integration is ongoing, so all the electronics is in. And number three, you see here in, in upright position, it's more or less empty in the moment. You see the structures, the base platform with the propulsion system waiting to get the electronics equipped. All three satellites have to go undergo the same uh, testing. Each satellite needs to be characterized magnetically on ground, so it's an enormous uh, test program which takes us roughly nine, nine months. Each satellite weighs about 500 kilograms. Two of them will fly approximately in the same orbit. The third one will cross them by 90 degrees, bringing some kind of third dimension into the measurements. This will support the objective of the Swarm mission, the best ever survey of the geomagnetic field and its evolution, and gain new insights into improving our knowledge of the Earth's interior and climate. High precision measurements of the strength and direction of the magnetic field will be given by each satellite. In combination, they'll provide the elements to model various characteristics of the geomagnetic field. During the last decades, Discoveries and measurements of the magnetic field with previous space missions have shown that the Earth's magnetic field and our natural shield are weakening. The field strength is decreasing rapidly in certain areas of South America and the South Atlantic, up to 12% in 30 years. For example, the decay of the so-called South Atlantic magnetic anomaly may have serious effects in space on satellites or astronauts and trains or electric grid on the ground. So there are many reasons to better understand the magnetic field and the Earth's geomagnetic environment. Where we live, uh, the Earth, uh, and uh, the magnetic field is very important uh, because some scientists uh, compare uh, what happens to Mars, for example. Mars had an atmosphere, probably. There is still some trace of atmosphere. Mars uh, had a magnetic field. There is still the trace of the crystal field. But the magnetic field disappeared on Mars. And then there is uh, some uh, hypothesis from the scientific community that the magnetic uh, atmosphere, the atmosphere has been blown up by the solar winds. The completion of the first flight unit of the Swarm satellite trio in Friedrichshafen represents a milestone in ESA's mission to explore the Earth's geomagnetic field. ESA scientists and world researchers eagerly await the launch of the trio of satellites from Plesetsk, Russia on a rocket launcher during 2012.